Hi there, this is Charlie, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use iDev Affiliate and uh, cancel commissions, reverse commissions, uh, and e edit commissions, ju just in case you need to. Now one of the reasons you'll want to reverse a commission or cancel a commission uh, is, if you're like me, you'll go and test out uh, your affiliate links and if you're signing someone else up you'll actually go and copy their link and test and make sure that their link is working and then uh, you might then go and test a purchase you might actually put a purchase through your system on behalf of another client and because you've cookied your um, other affiliate they get notification that they've just made a sale when they haven't really uh, so what we're going to do in this video is just go through how, how you can manage your commissions using iDev Affiliate and uh, reverse them, etc. The first thing you need to do is sign into your iDev Affiliate admin panel. And depending on whether you have to approve commissions or whether commissions are automatically approved will depend on whether you go to pending commissions or current commissions. Now. If your commissions are automatically approved, you'll need to go to current commissions. If you um, don't automatically approve your commissions, just skip forward a little on this video because the next step will be what you need to do. So click on current commissions to get a list of all of the commissions that are current and uh, due for payment. So in this case, uh, I'm just going to look up one affiliate. I want to Stuart Latham my dear husband who is the subject of lots of these videos and any current approved commissions against his account. I'm going to click view so you can select your affiliate from the drop down list here and then once you've selected your affiliate you can then look at the commissions that are there. Now you'll see he's got two commissions and I'm actually going to go and reverse both of these. So to reverse a commission uh, I'm just going to delete it and get rid of it. We'll do the 30 cent one here, the one at the bottom from the 14th of July last year. Click on View Details. And uh, you'll get the details of the commission. What you can then do is click on Unapprove This Commission. And that's going to put that commission straight into the Pending Commissions box. So you'll see pending commissions has now come up as a one. Just going to go back in and get the rest of Stuart's commissions. And we're just going to go and unapprove the other commission as well. Uh, current approved commissions for Stuart L. And we're going to click on view details. And we're going to unapprove the commission. And then you'll notice that once we've done that, we've got pending commissions are now two. The next thing you need to do is actually go and click on your pending commissions. And this is now the same for everyone. So if you've just got, got your system set up so that you have to go and manually approve your commissions, you need to do this next step. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to reverse the 30 cent um, commission. We don't want that there. The, the way you do that is put a tick in the box next to the one that you don't want and at the top you'll see we have decline and delete. Click on decline and delete and that's just going to delete the commission from the system. It's not going to exist anymore and it's not going to come up in any reports and that's how you reverse a commission. Now the other thing you might want to do is actually edit a commission. Uh, and change the commission rate from $24 to something else. You can then click on this full details link. And once you've clicked on that full details link, you can then uh, change the amount of commission that you want to give them. So let's say instead of this being a $24 commission, I want to make it 40. For whatever reason, I want to make it 40. So you just edit it. You'll see down the bottom that it's edited. And then click on approve commission and it's now been approved and if I go back into Stuart's uh, current commissions listings there it is it's now $40 and if I change my mind and decide I, I don't want it anymore I'm going to click on view unapprove this commission go to pending commissions put a tick in the box 
and decline and delete it and that's going to remove the commission from the system and that's how you can reverse commissions that have been incorrectly applied to your affiliate accounts. I hope this video has been helpful. Bye!